Welcome to, I, <laughs> I literally almost called it Vlogmas. Welcome to the Reading Rush Day 3 Vlog. My hair looks really bad. I was doing it, so just, it won't be like this for that much longer. Anyways, so I watch Irish Reader and basically he was talking about, cause I'm sure he's done the Reading Rush before. He was talking about how it's smarter to read the bigger books in the beginning and then the smaller books after. And so <laughs> I'm going to start on A Darker Shame of Magic because that is my longest book. And I think I'm gonna save I Am Legend for when I'm just like busy or when I have not read very much. So yeah, after A Darker Shade of Magic, I'm gonna start on One of Us Is Lying and then I'm done. I only had five books, so. So if you haven't watched the other two videos, you should go watch them. I actually uploaded the second one already, so that's nice. I'm gonna start in a little bit. I'm kind of nervous because it took longer than I expected for me to read The Perks Being a Wallflower and Darker, A Darker Shade of Magic's longer than that, but it's okay. We're gonna do it. We are gonna get this done. Okay, so I'm gonna start now with The Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, and this is for the read a book from a different continent. I mean, that takes place on a different continent than you. And this one, and this one has exactly 400 pages. I'm probably not gonna finish today, but maybe tomorrow. I'm gonna come back when I know anything. I already started it yesterday, but I only read like one page, so. I'll come back when something actually happens. Okay, I read a little bit, and I'm sure most of you guys have probably read this or heard of it before because it's really popular. But anyways, I will say what I've learned so far. So basically our main character, Kel, he has magic and he can travel between the different Londons, Red London, White London, Grey London, and then Black London. It's just like not a good place apparently. And I don't know if there's other people that can do that. I'm like seriously in like the first section. I can't tell you what page because online the pages are like four times as long, so I'm not exactly sure what page I'm on, but I'm really in the beginning. But that's all I, that's all I've learned now. Okay, so it just said that Antari are the only ones that can move between worlds and create doors, like doorways to each world, I think, if I understood that correctly. And Kel, he said Kel and Holland are like the only ones he knows of, I think. I don't know who Holland is yet. Do you ever have a time where you just cannot read. I'm in the mood, I'm good, I wanna read right now, but my god, I cannot even. <laughs> I keep reading like every single word wrong. On top of everything, this guy's name, Rye, it's just making me think of Resand and it's like confusing me. <laughs> just in my brain, it's just like mixing them up. Like, my hair is crazy, hold on. We just met another main character. So she, her name is Lila Bard. She gets her own POV chapters. I didn't realize that. Okay, <gasps> that would have spilled on my computer. I gotta use my smarts. So I've been sitting on my bed and reading the whole day and <laughs> oh my God. anyway, I'm gonna bring my computer over to my desk and clean off my desk because ooh. Okay, so I'm just gonna read over here for a little bit. Oops. Very nice. My seat is so cold. Oh! I concern myself sometimes. I usually don't read over here, but I was getting bored. We're just meeting Lila now, and she's really good at stealing. I kinda wanna brush my hair out. I'm gonna just like brush through my hair while I read, I guess. Ew. change and now my stomach hurts so i'm gonna go back to my bed i just read better in bed i don't know let's put some earrings in so eat it i'm royal hail 
jessamine awkward scene to me is here we are on top oh my gosh this earring is so small can you even see it and says that it's like oh no anyways i'm gonna go back to my bed because my stomach hurts i honestly haven't read that much today but you know what it's okay is there ever a character that you just like and you don't know anything about them or who they are at all in this story, but you just like them. And I feel that way with Rai, and I don't even know who this guy is at all. But he seems like a cool guy. And I'm hoping Kel and him like have a really good relationship, because I feel like that would be fun. There's a chance he could be like a villain or something, but I hope they're not. That's also a freckle. Freckle Rudolph Freckle. Okay, so seriously, it is mentally messing with me, because I just, I said the one in Reese's hand. <laughs> Not the same book, not the same. Trying for a different visual thing here. So, I am just a little bit ahead of where I was last time. I'm going slowly through this. I'm getting a little nervous, okay? I know I can finish I Am Legend, but one of us is lying, I'm scared. Basically right now, we're having a situation where we are meeting the villains. I assume that they're the villains. They are the rulers because they're siblings of white london i'm assuming that they're gonna be the villains of at least the first book but it's still the beginning who knows oh my gosh i've been sitting here for a little bit and i was just like every part of me is tingling like my arms and stuff i need to go take my iron they're finally about to meet and i'm really excited he is running with the 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 black stone from black london he just used it to kill this person who is weird and trying to kill him so yeah or not not kill him surrender the stone to him now he's going to gray london because no one can follow him through that thing lila is in gray london So they met in an alley when he like came through the what is it called the portal that doesn't sound right the doorway between dimensions and fell right in her pathway okay this was random he says and kel thought in a far off woozy way that under different circumstances they might have been friends dude you literally haven't spoken to her she just robbed him she just <laughs> oh my god why did i expect that she's really good at doing that pickpocketing people kaz brecker i'm just saying so they met yet again when she went back to the place she's staying he just like appeared and tried to get the stone back but like he couldn't so he just like passed out because he was just done she tied him up and i don't know what's gonna happen now but i'm assuming i'm a, i'm a what i'm assuming they're gonna have like a discussion a discussion about why he's here i think maybe this might be one of the last check-ins of the night because i'm definitely not finishing today i'm back and it's morning i'm now halfway through the book they're going to go and try and go Hmm? They're going to try and go to Black London to put the stone away and Lila insisted that she go with him Okay, so they went through the thing together I just still don't know what it's called the doorway to Red London Cal went through and it seems like Delilah did too, but they're not together So I'm not sure what happened, but it says Delilah Bard had finally escaped sailed away not with the ship but with the stone So she took the stone I might end this video here so I can start the Reading Rush Day 4 vlog. So yeah, I guess I will end the vlog here and we'll just start off right from there in the next video. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are enjoying your Reading Rushes or like watching other people's videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.